Welcome to Fat Over 40. My name's Miles, and in this episode, we're going to do a review on my last two years of my weight loss journey. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. There's a new film every single Friday, and if you like what you hear, then please hit that thumbs up button. But more importantly, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've started your weight loss journey. Let me know how long you've been on your weight loss journey. I really enjoy chatting to every single one of you. Now, um, I've got a new uh, sort of setup. Um, I had to invest in some lights because I was having to sort of rely on recording in the daytime. Uh, and, <laughs> you know, um, it takes me long enough to edit these things. So uh, I've invested in some bits of kit and I thought I'd have a little play around with some green screen stuff today. So uh, I thought it'd be a little bit fun to have uh, two of me, <laughs> two of me on screen, uh, one asking the questions and one uh, giving the answers. So, over to you, Moles. <laughs> so, Miles, why did you start your weight loss journey? <laughs> okay, right, so, why did I start my weight loss journey? Well, simply, I was, I was overweight, um, probably at my heaviest, I was weighing in about 22 stone, um, I didn't weigh myself when I was at my heaviest, I didn't even take a lot of photos of myself when I was at my heaviest, um, you know, I um, wasn't very proud of being so fat. Uh, but when I started my weight loss journey two years ago, um, I weighed in at 20 stone two. Um, you know, I've come a long way since then, um, but uh, I started it primarily because I was overweight. Um, but in actual fact, all my eating, drinking, smoking, eating, drinking, smoking, I was going to say womanizing, <laughs> but that wouldn't be true. Uh, eating, drinking, smoking, lack of exercise, um, caused me to develop something called atrial flutter, uh, and that developed into atrial fibrillation. Fibula, fibrillation. Um, that wasn't the sound effect. Um, uh, basically, my heart was all over the place, and in so I started my weight loss journey in the January, and in the March, um, I had heart surgery, which was successful. Okay, so my heart is now reset, and I'm back to normal. Um, but the one thing, <laughs> the one thing having heart surgery does. Uh, to you, apart from, uh, you know, the obvious, um, is it really makes you focus on, on what's important. And, and I guess living is uh, pretty important stuff. So that is the reason I started my weight loss journey. But tell me, Miles, how did you start your weight loss journey? Right, okay, so how did I get started? These are always, this is always the hardest thing, like getting over the inertia. Um, how do you start something? Where do you start? Um, well, personally, it's about putting one foot in front of the other, and I literally just did that. I went for a walk. Um, I, it was about, yeah, it was about the third or fourth of January. Um, I literally uh, I got up of a morning, uh, and rather than just laze around the place, um, I put on my coat and I went for a walk. And I think I walked for about 15 minutes. I got con uh, very, very hot and sweaty, and that's about all I could do. 15 minutes. Uh, the next day, I got back up and I got out and I did a 20-minute walk. The next day I did a half an hour walk, and by the weekend uh, I was walking for an hour. Um, once I got myself sort of going by walking, uh, I then looked up in the local directory and found a lady um, that did personal training uh, in my village that was walkable from my house um, to her private gym, which sounds, um, sounds a bit posh, but you know, she had a, a nice home gym uh, in a garage, detached garage. You know, I, I didn't want to go to a gym because I, I felt I just felt like embarrassed, I suppose, um, you know, that I wouldn't be able to sort of uh, to perform. I, I don't know, I, would, I felt really sort of self-conscious about it. So starting with a personal trainer was the best way for me. Uh, and I really think it was the best way because she was able to sort of uh, see, you know, see me on a walk through the door as a big fat lump uh, and slowly but surely over the weeks and months um, develop me and push me uh, and make me grow in terms of the exercise that I could do. So that was the best thing I could do was find a personal trainer who would really sort of help me out. Oh, you know, that, that's how I started, putting one foot in front of the other, doing some walking and exercise. That's where I started with my weight loss journey. Right, mate, sum up the last two years in six month batches. Right, okay, so I'm now just gonna sum things up. Uh, sum up the whole of the two years uh, in six month blocks, uh, focusing on sort of the highlights, I suppose. Uh, so, like I just said, I started off uh, personal training three times a week. Um, 
I didn't really pay a lot of attention to uh, my food at that stage. Um, I might have started to sort of cut out some things, you know, maybe I would just buy like one block of cheese a week instead of two, or maybe I would buy one tub of Ben and Jerry's instead of two. Um, maybe I'd only go out drinking five times a week <laughs> instead of seven. Um, you know, I'm being, I'm being sarcastic there, but probably four times a week drinking. Um, so I was still drinking. Um, I had given up smoking at that stage, um, but I was still sort of eating wrong stuff. I thought that I could train my way um, to thinness, um, but, you, but you, I soon realized that you can't even do that either. So for the first six months, all I really did was focus in on my exercise and trying to sort of make exercise an addiction. I, I suppose it didn't, didn't become an addiction until a lot further on, but um, it was literally a question of just getting my ass out of bed, get into that gym, first thing in the morning, doing my training, and sort of getting my metabolism going. So for the first six months, exercise is what I focused on. For the second six months, um, I did start to sort of look at my food. Um, I did start to drink a little bit more water, um, but I was, I was playing with it, I suppose. So um, instead of buying the um, full fat chocolate bar, I'd buy the diet chocolate bar. Um, instead of buying full fat cola, I'd buy the diet Coke. Um, yeah, you know, I'd make some. I make. I think I made small changes, like not buying um, my big sausage back with cheese and tomato ketchup all over it for lunch, and I went for um, you know like a Marks and Spencer sandwich instead. I thought I was making some some changes there, but look, these are. If there's one thing that I've done in my journey is make some small changes along the way, because what I found is that by making small changes, they don't really affect you too much. And they have this sort of snowball effect that, you know, over two years, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of little tiny changes have actually made a big difference in the end. And I have lost a lot of weight. Um, so, uh, so for, so that takes me up to like the first year of what I was doing. Um, I joined, I joined the CrossFit in September. So I started in the, started training in the January. I started CrossFit in September. So that was nine months it took me to feel confident enough to actually go to a gym, yeah? And it wasn't till like the January, so into the second sort of, uh, the third sort of set, of, the third set of six months. Um, it wasn't until that sort of period that I think that my um, general um, fitness levels had uh, sort of raised and I upped my training. So um, at that stage, I was starting to train five, six days a week, sometimes twice a day, yeah? I really had got addicted um, to the training and I'd started to refine my food choices. I started having breakfast, yeah? Breakfast, lunch, tea, um, and I started then to get my two snacks in as well. So it took me a while to get my head around the fact that eating more meant that I'd still lose weight, yeah? Because when I first started, I didn't eat breakfast. Um, I've never really ate breakfast in my life. Breakfast for me was a, a fag and a cup of coffee, yeah? Oh, I was just, 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 people in America would be going, he had a fag for breakfast? <laughs> um, a cigarette, a cigarette and a cup of coffee, that was my breakfast. Leave a comment down below. Um, but, uh, you know, three square meals a day, two snacks, um, consuming enough calories for the exercise I was doing, and I was still shedding weight, which was great. Um, I started doing some food prep, um, making sort of meals in batch and sticking them in the freezer. That really sort of helped out with uh, eating cleaner. And then if we sort of fast forward to the last six months, the last six months has been the biggest difference for me, I suppose. I've got my head a little bit more around um, you know, like how it all works and you know, I've, I've done a little bit more research and I'm a bit more aware of how my body works, um, aware of my limitations on my body and also, uh, you know, I've been trying to push myself a little bit more, setting myself sort of more uh, sort of harder goals and trying to, trying to achieve those. Um, I've got on top of my food. Most of my food is, you know, clean now. Um, you know, a typical dinner for us is uh, a plain bit of uh, uh, steamed fish with some new potatoes and lots and lots of vegetables, yeah? Uh, and with no sort of sauces uh, that are high in calories on. You know, we're trying to eat as healthy as we can now. Um, I still, I still haven't been great. Um, and I, I think I just haven't been great with some of the healthy stuff. So um, 
I'll, 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 put a, I'll put a chart behind me now uh, of my journey in terms of uh, weight, and you'll see that um, within the first sort of six, eight months, my, my weight came down tremendously because I was training, and I think I was just shedding a lot of water and all the rest of it. But as, as that progressed, I started to sort of, sort of maintain my weight. And, and this is nothing more than not being in a calorific deficit. Um, I wasn't in like a huge surplus, but I just, I wasn't in a deficit. I was eating enough calories for my body to maintain itself, yeah? But it just means that I wasn't losing any weight. So that brings me um, to now. What am I doing now? Well, since my binge <laughs> over Christmas, where I put on about eight kilos, I think, um, eating all the things that are lovely over Christmas, including a very nice chocolate cake, um, which uh, my wife caught me stuffing in my face for breakfast on Boxing Day, which probably wasn't my finest hour, but it just goes to show, like, like any sort of addict, um, if you put it there, then I'm gonna eat it. You know, I don't have crisps in the house now, or chips as you call it in America. You know, I don't have ice cream in the freezer. Um, I don't keep cheese in the fridge. Um, apart from sort of like a like a feta cheese that I have on my on my salad, yeah, I don't particularly like eating that on its own anyway. But you know, you put a block of cheddar cheese in my fridge, and I will eat it like that. So that's what I've got to grips with now. Um, Two thousand calories a day. That's where I'm at, and that will keep me in a slight calorific deficit, which means I will start to burn my body fat and I will start to lose about two pounds a week. That's my goal, yeah? And so far, for the first three weeks of January, I've managed to do that. I'm on a couple of diet bets. This has helped my diet bet. And I'll tell you what now, after two years, I've just, I've got the ump with it a little bit, yeah? I, I, I'm, I'm ready now to focus and to not stop until I've lost my belly. I don't know what weight I'll be. You know, a few people, actually a few people in the last week or so have said to me, ooh, um, you're looking really good, Miles. You know, have you reached your ideal weight now? And I'm like, no, you know, I'm, I'm, I've still got my big gut. So from another person's point of view, perhaps they see that I've lost a lot of weight and they think that I look better than I did and that perhaps I'm happy where I am now, but I'm not happy. I am not stopping my calorific deficit diet until I have lost my belly. Once I've lost my belly, I don't know what weight I'll be then, but I'll certainly be a shape or a size that I'll be comfortable with, yeah? And you might even get to see these abs that I've been developing underneath all of this blubber, eh? Wouldn't that be nice? That has been the last two years of my weight loss journey summed up I don't know how long it'll be. I'll put a little thing here saying how long it took me to, to describe the last two years, but probably in a few minutes. Five minutes, so six minutes, seven minutes. Right, Miles, what's your what next question? What three things have made the most difference to your journey? Okay, so what three things uh, have made the most difference uh, to my weight loss journey? Well, the first thing is exercise. Um, you know, exercise is so important, not because you sort of get fit and all that sort of stuff, it's really important for all of the other benefits, like um, the, your, your energy levels, the endorphins that it releases. Um, it really does sort of stimulate you. Also, don't just think about the calories that you're gonna burn whilst you're doing the exercise. Um, you also burn so many more calories throughout the day um, after you've done the exercise. Um, and you need to make it a part of your life because, you know, being healthy on the outside um, is all very well and good, you know, losing the weight, but you need to also be healthy on the inside. You know, by exercising, it's going to reduce the amount of uh, visceral fat that you have, the fat that sort of lines your organs, um, and that's going to make you live a little bit longer, hopefully. Number one, get exercising. Uh, the second one is food. You know, you definitely can't at exercise um, a bad diet and if there's been one realization over the last two years it's that you really do have to get to grips with your food and you have to sort of try and understand a little bit more about what's in your food uh, how many calories it's got you know your your macros your your carbs your fats uh, and your proteins yeah um, you're putting it into your body so uh, you know just try and understand what you're putting into your body food so important and the last one the little drum roll please. Um, the last most important thing um, of the three things uh, is water. Uh, you need to definitely drink more water. I thought I drank a lot of water, then I monitored how much water I drank throughout the day, and it definitely wasn't even near enough. 
So I'm now drinking about four liters of water a day, which is a lot, uh, and I'm pissing like a racehorse. However, it's making a big difference. Um, and also, like when I feel a little bit peckish, um, have a big glass of water, and that sort of uh, you know suppresses my hunger. Exercise, food, and water. They're the three things that you need to get on top of. Now, if you're uh, into your uh, weight loss, uh, I suppose that's why you're watching this, then you will not have missed um, the biggest Get Healthy collaboration on YouTube, which uh, I'm a part of, and there's, 20, there's over 20 of us now um, taking part uh, in, uh, in the new series. So uh, in my nether regions, that's for you, Destiny. Uh, fat Girl Get Fab, check her out. Um, so in my nether regions will be uh, the playlist uh, link. Click on the playlist and watch, every, you know, binge watch everyone's videos. Uh, they really are great. Um, and a lot of people have been commenting they want to get involved. This is just going to become like the biggest, biggest, biggest Get Healthy collab ever. So it's great to see the weight loss community and all those weight loss creators coming together um, to try and um, share and inspire um, the world, I suppose. That sounds a bit grand, but that's, that's basically what it is. So check that out. Now, if you haven't seen my road to 200 kilos, uh, click here. Uh, if you haven't seen my very first video, oh, the shame, click here. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Get involved. Now, if you make one change this week, start your weight loss journey so you don't die fat. <laughs>